Welcome back to High Heat, presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Uh, we had an event, Mike Francesa had an event, my old radio partner at Irving Plaza in New York, which was snowed out back in January. They redid it for a Saturday in early March. And so I was involved in that. Why don't you take us home with it? Yeah, well, ahead. as most of your Arden followers know, there is a big production going on at Radio City Music Hall on March 30th, as you and your aforementioned longtime radio partner, what, 18, 19 years 19. on WFAN here in New York, Mike Francesa, are going to be doing a, a big reunion show. But there was a little precursor to that over the weekend here in the Big Apple. And let's, uh, let's take a look at how it all went down. Hey, if we do this next year... I'll bring the real thing. Of course, the appearance of Mad Dog alongside Mike is really what is going to make this year great. Mike and the Mad Dog! Mike and the Mad Dog! Mike and the Mad Dog! Yeah, that's pretty good. I went last year, this is first year, and this is Banana Land. I'm psyched because Chris Russo is going to be here, and uh, truth be told, I'm partial to Chris. A uh, big fan of his. My favorite Christopher Russo moment is back, it must be 10 years ago. Just wants one time. One time. The Giants, they, they didn't make the, uh, they didn't make the playoffs. I'm not even going to get a chance to see the Giants win one time. I don't want 20. I want one. Oh, no. One. That's all I want is one. Oh, no. When we get on stage, just calm down, OK? Oh, uh, Mike, I'm more pepped up. I'm more fired up, ready to go. All the money, all the proceeds from this year go to uh, the Teddy Atlas Foundation, run by uh, Hall of Fame boxing trainer, Teddy Atlas. Now that we're both here, should it not be Fran Russo Khan? The Mike and the Mayor Dog March extravaganza has begun. Oh, uh, I don't or even Russo Khan. Are we ready, Nick Daddy? You ready? I'm ready. Let's go do it. Uh, Good afternoon, everybody! Live from Irving Plaza, it's Francesca Country! I'll pull them off. You want to hear a roar? Yeah, go. Watch this. <laughs> nice to see everybody. I'll give you a little mic and a mad dog right now. The real time. For all you High Heat fans right here, this is the old Mike and the Mad Dog cultural phenomenon. 19 years, they can't get enough. I should have left Mike a long time ago. He should have departed. We're more, we're more popular now than ever when we were doing a talk show, for crying out loud. Watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Mad Dog Russo. All these years for crying out loud. You've only been gone uh, eight years. <laughs> I, I, mean. I leave, and the Giants are a dominant baseball team for crying out loud. <laughs> I do think, though, the Mets and Giants will both be very good in the National League. Yankees over under 86. Because of their bullpen, I'll go over. How's that? Bullpen over. 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 I think under. When the dog came out, it's gotta be when Russo came out. Couldn't beat that. So it's my childhood. There you go. I want you guys to know that. But there you go. You got your hug, Dan. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Now I know how Cal Ripken felt. How did he sign all those autographs after all these games? Oh my gosh, lots of pictures. But boy, I tell you, does that fan base love Mike and the Mad Dog? The father-son bond. And you're in New York means one thing: Mets and Yankees. What a job by Rory Fagese, who put that together. MLB Network was there. A superb job. That was quite phenomenal. The fans are unbelievable. They were so into it. You didn't get a chance. You got a little sense of it from watching it right there, I correct? Some of those impersonators do you better than you. Oh, they, the one guy who does me is phenomenal. You, oh. Cal Ripken, know that comparison. The, but that's a little strong. Wee I was trying to come up with strong. something after five hours of taking pictures. Did you have you a good time? Right? looked like you had a good time. Oh, I did. Uh, they did a superb job. And, you know, we got this ESPN thing going on right now. He's doing a documentary on Mike and I, so they were there. So he had a lot of things happening. And I'm telling you, the fans just, 
It's the bonds that you know they people brought their fathers you know, when they were 15 years of age. They were in cars with their fathers, listening to Mike and me talk sports in the 80s, 90s, and in the 2000s. Cultural, Crazy. Cultural icons. Uh, that's a little strong. I was looking for a word to talk about it, but I was into it. As you can see, I was, uh, that guy on the right is so good. Oh, it's phenomenal. I was going to bring my kids. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, what a job Reverend Plaza did. The whole thing was a tremendous job. Now, having done that this past weekend, you think that makes things a little little easier on you as the big show on March 30th? I am worried about that March 30th because it's a lot of different components. It's television, MSG, simulcast. Garden of Dreams, of course, is the recipient of, of all the finances and all the money that they have raised. You have radio, uh, Sirius, and, of course, WFAN, and you got 6,000 people in the building. So we have to figure out a way to make it, entertain a lot of different components in a three-hour period. I will be nervous that day. There will be no high heat that day. You know why? I have to do the open, the and. You know it has to last 20 seconds? Yeah, you've So I cannot do it twice. I only can do it once. I, ha I, I have all the faith in the world that there is enough wind in those pipes I can do it. to withstand I, a 20-second I give Roy Fergazi credit. He kid did a great job. He was there at 8 in the morning. Give MLB credit. They sent a crew out there. He didn't have to do that. Dave Patterson and all the guys, they get all the credit in the world, too. And Savino and uh, Marty both texted me at 5.30, 6 o'clock, said, Twitter ablaze that you showed up. Of course I was going to show up. You knew I was going to show up. You and I had talked about this on Friday. The heck with 30 and 30. Who is better than MLB Network? Come on. Emma, if you, I've told you a thousand times. If you cannot work for the MLB Network, it's your fault, not theirs. Not a better place ever to work. How's that? I mean it. Well said. Well spoken. We continue here on High of the Lake.